While it's not yeah. a reason to be paranoid, we are still framing. going to produce a new segment to try and invoke those feelings of paranoia within you. Yeah. Sponsor time. <laughs> this is it's a good one. Uh, Ray Cohn and Ray William Johnson. Or Gay William Johnson. I was used to call them back in the days. <laughs> Equals gay. <laughs> Alright people, let us go back onto the updates of the culture war because those goddamn companies out there are trying to groom and brainwash your kids. You have goddamn Xbox wanting to turn them into like environmentalists. You have goddamn Nintendo wanting them to share the love of friendship. What the? You have Sony trying to teach them and reinvent the concept of parenthood. What the hell happened to those good old fashioned values upon which we used to rely? <laughs> Is that a good interpretation of how it is that the fear mongering of the news tend to affect the gaming industry and us gamers as a whole? I think it is because it's like a thing that happens in every generation. I had like a conversation with my girlfriend's dad the other day where he was visiting and I showed him my rig, my setup, and I was like, hey, so this is Doom Eternal. He was like, wow, we've come really far from Doom 64. Yeah, but then he mentioned how it is that there was the same thing they were talking about video game violence back then, that that was the thing that would have affected the young boys. And also doing some research on the whole D&D situation last time, I was reminded of the fear mongering that was created by people fearing for young people playing tabletop games, pen and paper tabletop games being satan worshippers now i'm saying all of this because there is this video by the Ackman that's been recommended to me to watch on will video games kill you so uh, i want to check that out welcome back ladies and gentlemen to act news i'm your host the reporter man and today i ask <laughs> the important questions are you giving your child digital heroin i don't oh, know geez. why anyone would have fortnite yeah, in that's their what home they call because it. it is like giving a child heroin do you or a loved one suffer from Gaming disorder? The World Health Organization. Oh, yeah, that's true. It was recognized as an actual disorder. Does the new Call of Duty actually allow you to be a terrorist and kill people? That's right, folks. <laughs> Our top story of the day, <laughs> of course, is on the dangers of gaming. What's up, everybody? This is the Act Man here. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the most interesting news reports on video games. I've done this before in videos like the War Against Video Games and others. But those were more documentary style. This is not. We are going bottom of the barrel, the craziest, most out of touch news reports I've ever seen. I okay. feel like it's always interesting to see what mainstream media has to say about video games and what they've had to say about them over the years. Is Fortnite too addictive? How many games put your kids at risk of pedophiles? There's a lot of fun questions. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of this. Now, when Always. I first launched my investigation, it was a slow news day. And on slow news days, the only thing the news does is fear monger. But sure. what was I going to fear monger today? Naturally, it was video games. They're too violent, too sexual. They increase aggressive behavior in adolescents. Players commit gruesome acts like these <laughs> using top of the line graphics in stunningly realistic God damn it. detail. But where to begin? More in my investigation. Well, I think I found just the right place oh, to shit. start. Oh shit, that's the true. Internet Crimes Task Force says adults are now using systems like Nintendo, Wii, Xbox, PlayStation, and Web. I remember this being a thing on the Nintendo DS. Not so much the Switch or the Wii, but uh, yeah, the DS for sure. Kids to talk to children inappropriately. That's right, this is the game and you actually create your own character, house and even town. And when connected to the internet, you can talk to people across the country. And kids have no say as to what some of these characters say to them. For example, this character could be the man in- Taught him up. What the, why? Who in the right? Jesus Christ. California police are warning about tonight that ask for images from Missouri children. <laughs> Tour timer? Could be. It could be the or it could be could be the fucking goose on the left. It could also be her. And kids have no say as to Pelican. what some of these characters might say to them. For example, 
This could be the man police are warning about tonight who asked for pictures from Cyrodiil children. I cannot come up with any legitimate reason that an adult would be playing that particular game. Not, no reason. No not reason a single for one. an adult to play Animal Crossing. Only bad reasons. Anderson says adults playing Animal Crossing, similar games are likely doing it for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Crime alert. We abuse. <laughs> We abuse? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Anderson says it is going to take parents paying attention to keep this problem from exploding. What you don't say. A lot of these news reports from like the early mid 2000s, like the news tries to frame the, the most innocuous of things a, as a problem when really all, all it comes back to is just parents knowing what the fuck their kids are doing. Also, like 90%, I'll say about 90% or so of most incidents can be fixed by parent supervision. It's that simple. Now, right now, we know that only three children have been reported as being involved in this. Anderson says this is not a reason to be paranoid, but is something to be aware of. While it's not yeah. a reason to be paranoid, we are still framing. going to produce a news segment to try and invoke those feelings of paranoia within you. Yeah. <laughs> Sponsor time. This is it's a good one. Uh, Ray Cohn and Ray William Johnson, or Gay William Johnson, I was used to call them back in the days, <laughs> equals gay. <laughs> Now for something completely different. <laughs> Kids can't put it down. It has oh, lots no. of graphics. <laughs> the, I tell you, the, the clips they choose are always the fucking funniest. It has lots of graphics. It has lots of <laughs> graphics. graphics. No wonder gaming oh, gurus Jesus. predict Nintendo DS is going to redefine hey, Reggie. gaming the way iPod is redefining music. Well, stop the music. Because it's also redefining how vulnerable your kids are to child molesters. <laughs> <laughs> what? How, how much of a reach? Come on! I swear to God, if they are going to choose to mention the chat feature, I'm gonna lose it. How? Explain to me how you arrived at this point. Along with the game capability, Nintendo DS comes with a feature called PictoChat. Son of a. I can't do that. I have a cat on my lab right now. Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Picto chat, bro. Few moments later. I always try to reach them. This is my DS. Now, I don't have... I can't find the bottom part because uh, last time I played Pokemon Red there, I loaned it to a friend and never got it back. Um, like, my sister and I got our DSs around the same time and we used to use that to communicate with one another when we were clearly supposed to be asleep. That was way before we got, like, smartphones and shit. Picto chat? Picto chat? Well, let me explain. You okay. open the DS unit, you turn it on, you push Picto chat, and your DS unit is an open book. Anyone can write your child messages, send them sketches, anyone who has a DS unit. The only reason anybody ever used Picto chat was to draw penises and send them to your siblings as you both giggled in separate rooms. <laughs> Any other use okay, of we didn't Picto send chat penises, though. was illegal. Here's an example of what can happen. With Melanie <laughs> and Marissa sure upstairs in the bedroom, yeah. I was downstairs sending oh, messages. Oh no. What's your dog's name? What's no. What's your name? Where do you go to school? Where do you live? <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> Where do you live? What are you buying? Where do you live? In this house that I'm messaging you in? <laughs> <laughs> Marissa's mom was watching That's so wrong. and Marissa answered my questions and she didn't like what she saw. Especially when I saw Melanie write in the address. What's true? <gasps> What's wrong with the mom? You are inconvenienced by the clearly set up reporter and the entire news team that came into your house set up cameras to record your child's action while under supervision what the pinching granted the girls knew it was me sending the messages but they'd only met me minutes before and i could have been a child molester <laughs> and remember marissa chatting with her friend in the other car that means a molester driving along could see your child in the back seat and start what? sending what? messages while you're in the front seat what? totally oblivious to what's happening oh my god who the fuck is driving and, and like trying to join picto chat lobbies <laughs> you know what this makes me think of <laughs> That old man during the uh, Pokemon Go craze who had like the entire setup with like phones everywhere. <laughs> Just an obscured vision with like Nintendo DS's all hanging up. Who the fuck is driving 
and like trying to join picto chat lobbies the the logistics of that alone <laughs> it, it j make my head spin well a colorado family is looking for answers tonight after they say the nintendo gaming system they bought for their five-year-old had porn loaded onto it how Brighton Giles had wanted a Nintendo 3DS all year. Wait, was it a 3DS that had porn on it? When Santa brought it to him, he was ecstatic, but yesterday morning, that excitement turned into horror. I have one simple question. Dad, how cheap are you? He has got to have gotten a second-hand device, like one from like a yard sale or something, because you need to at least check if it works. Is it operable? Is it charged? Have you tried playing games on it to assure that the device is fine? You don't give your child something that you haven't checked if it's not new. When he turned on the gaming system, he found pornographic pictures on the gaming system. How does that Poor even... kid. I'm so confused. Who, who puts porn on their 3DS? Yeah. Do you even do that? I said, Dad, this DS has porn on it. And I had Aww. the DS and I feel for the kid. To the phone. I feel so bad for this kid. Honestly, I probably would have done the exact same thing. I probably would have been like, oh my god, dad, what the fuck? I don't know what this is. And then I you know. got people filming you and like they're putting it on the news and it's like, tell us about the porn you found on your 3DS. <laughs> I, I, oh my, I don't know if you guys caught it, but I'll play it again. When Santa brought it to him. Santa. The oh. gift was from Santa. A DS with porn on it. So yeah, he's gonna hate the fat man now. Some traumatic shit, but he probably hates Santa now. His father first called GameStop, where he bought the system. They told Giles that the images were from a previous owner, and they weren't caught before the refurbishing. Who, who does that? What kind of absolute sicko human being puts porn on a device and then? Hello, there you go. Here's the uh, eight terabyte of, okay, there can't be that much on a device like that, but you get my point. The device was sold. So who the fuck puts porn on the 3DS and then tr trades it in? <laughs> Moving on. Think of all the security dangers we've exposed involving online games and interactive sites. This one tonight is different. I'm so ready. ABC 15 investigator Joe Ducey takes us into a fake world creating real problems for one local family. He was so upset. I mean, he was just heartbroken. I mean, this was his whole Christmas. She's talking sorry, about real money lost in a virtual world. <laughs> world set in Escape. medieval times. RuneScape. <laughs> we got a fucking news report on RuneScape. It's where oh, old, like the world is great. Gilbert can act like someone much older catching shark. Every shark you catch. It's worth a thousand coins. Oh, man. This has not aged well. Looks like the stock price of sharks in RuneScape has gone way down. Fighting enemies. You killed him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You killed him? Yeah. He spent years gaining a high level in an online... I like this kid's enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. ...online game called RuneScape. Timmy and his family recently learned this virtual world is full of some real-life dangers. He said, excuse me, Hell Slayer, can I speak to you for a moment? Wow. <laughs> Fucking polite. Oh my god, is this like nine year old kid? Hell Slayer. <laughs> His escape name is Hell Slayer. <laughs> In just minutes, Timmy's password was hacked, <laughs> stolen. His account with okay, all these no, points well, of that's belongings not fun. emptied out. It's your items, and to have someone steal it without hesitation, it, it's just wrong. Let's have a moment of silence for Timmy and so many others whose RuneScape accounts were hacked. And also kudos for Timmy for being so composed about it. I think it's like uh, just a rarity now to see kids actually being so composed when it comes to these kind of things. You may be thinking, who cares? It's just fake points in a make-believe world. I care, Joe. I care. Then at Christmas it was coming up and I told everybody, all the relatives, give him cash. Grandma oh, MVP, Grandma. 140 real dollars to buy virtual swords and armor. <laughs> what, a, what an awesome grandma. Give him cash so he can pay his membership fee in RuneScape. What a G. Attorney General Terry Goddard oh, that's has great. another concern. <laughs> Brought in a... <laughs> 
They brought in an attorney general on this story. Now, the sinister part of the people, the adults leading the 11-year-old to another site, is the adults leading 11-year-olds to personal contact. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, so funny I mean, story. Um, okay. This one time, me and my brother met someone on RuneScape, and we asked them if they knew where our elementary school was. I already don't like where he's going. Oh no, what What did you do? We agreed to meet them, and I was in the third grade, my brother was in sixth grade, and we left a note at home saying, we're going to meet this person we, we met online, we're going to Ben Franklin. We left that for our parents, and we were about to leave, and my stepmom came running down the door so like you are not going there like freaking out and i couldn't understand why because i was Jeez. so innocent at the time last year a dutch court took virtual crime seriously prosecuting two teens for stealing imaginary items on runescape there was a court case for that dude this is the netherlands as a bike enthusiast it made me laugh so much they have a law where you can be fined if you don't have neither bells or light on your bike. Now, I know that this may be something very difficult for, for example, a US audience. You don't have pink and bike lanes. At times, you don't even have sidewalk for pedestrian, but I know it's car country, but still, it's hilarious that they have laws like that. Oh my God, let's move on. So you can see right here, I'm, I'm getting ready to serve. All I do is throw that ball up in the air. And, when I, and there goes the tennis racket. Oh my god. We dude, all knew it so was coming. Many TVs and mirrors and controllers were broken during the Wii times. I remember we got that the day the Wii came out and we threw that fucking remote so quickly. I'm surprised we didn't break anything. If you're standing in front of a TV, okay, he does have the strap on actually. So that's not that bad, but isn't that. Didn't you in your family have a rule of like standing around five or six feet apart for the non-US audience is like 170, right? Why am I explaining this? Away from the TV as well as from each other, like <laughs> multiple arms lengths away. I didn't have it on there all the way. Make sure that your accessories are definitely latched on all the way. That's that's not a good idea. <laughs> and by the way, the little wee room. Do you like that? <laughs> Do you like that? Do you like that? <laughs> the little wee room. Do you like that? And now we're going back to the 90s when Pokemon was really starting to take off. Oh yeah. Mania, called it. Be forewarned if you haven't been already. The hottest thing in the 12 and under set is coming soon to a theater near you. Pokemon the movie joint. Fuck yeah, I went and saw that movie in theaters, man. I still got my my ancient Mew cards. Let me go find them. Boom. Check that out. Oh, turn that it around. The sweetest thing the front in the doesn't world matter. to me as a kid. Check out that sick holographic. Mm. Wonderful place to pause, but that shit that was like collecting the infinity stones. Oh man. I miss those days. Mm. Mm. So what exactly is a Pokemon? Cute, cuddly characters who become supercharged so they can fight their enemies. But some experts say the entire Pokemon phenomenon is the enemy. <laughs> but some experts say the entire Pokemon phenomenon is the enemy. It's the goddamn Japanese. <laughs> I'll never forgive the Japanese. Uh, of course, you have to bring South Park in there. In my opinion, parents should not let their kids watch Pokemon, play Pokemon, buy Pokemon cards, have anything whatsoever to do with Pokemon. If that was my mother, I would have hated life. And how is she a psychiatrist? Which, by the way, this has not stopped. It has continued. I will send a TikTok. Of so I I I'm going to show it to you. Look at this. Of God, people of TikTok. My name is Claudia with Ask God Ministries. I wanted to show you something that is witchcraft that you probably don't realize is witchcraft and your kids are playing. Let me show you. If you don't know, Pokemon is short for Pocket Monsters. Yeah. If you didn't know that, one of the main characters is Pikachu. But if mm -hmm. you say the name really slow, it sounds like peek at you. Think that's weird? Just wait. Then you have this character of Vinny, Voltex. Let me tell you what it means. So here's the meaning of Vulcan. Vulpix, and it's actually an element, and it's derived from Vulcan, who is, or was, the god of fire, volcanoes, and blacksmiths. It's a Roman mythology. It's a demon. But wait, there's more. <laughs> then you have wait. Arceus, and let me show you the meaning of that. And if you see, 
its creator deity, which has created games universe, which is another demon. But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh man, this lady's like one of the Wayne's brothers from the scary movie. But wait, there's more. Hold on to your seats, baby. I'm obviously not going to show you the rest. It's just getting more and more insane. But just to make a point that crazes like that, just like Pokemon, has not ended. As a child, seeing all my buddies playing Pokemon and, and like my mom is the only one that's like, nope, you can't. It's dangerous, violent. Because the message is violence. I... The message in Pokemon is violence. Well, wait till Call of Duty comes out. But many parents disagree. It's really, I think, an okay thing for the kids because they hey. learn to save their allowance to budget for it and they learn to trade and be kind of reasonable with Good their mom. friends. Finally, a parent that talks some sense. I almost feel like this soul report was the inspiration for the Chim Pokemon episode of South Park. <laughs> Like, their, their satire was spot on. Always. Many school officials think the craze has fat gone Pikachu. too far. Am I the only one who misses Fat Pikachu? Write in the comments if you miss Fat Pikachu. No, School no. officials are finding that Pokemon cards are responsible for fistfights and the constant trading is not only distracting Come on. from classwork, but turning the playground into a black market. Hey, Timmy. I'll give you a Blastoise for your lunch money. I feel like back in the 90s and early 2000s, all of these news reports, it, it was like fear mongering around children. Yeah, well, it never ended. Because it was still like somewhat new to parents and they didn't know what to think of it. And the news was right there to be like, hey, this is how video games and Pokemon are fucking up your child. <laughs> but that psychiatrist who had that quote last that how bad uh, Pokemon is, I guarantee you these people haven't seen any of the cartoons at all. They have no concept at all. Nope. This fucking guy. I love this guy. Psychiatrists don't know a goddamn thing. Iro, how do you answer the question? Is this just toy collectibles? Is it a movement? It is, is it a craze? Is it a it's state a of being? It's a craze for little kids to enjoy themselves with. Adults are not going to get into this a lot. I think through the holidays, mm. guaranteed, and I can probably guarantee you there's another year year and a half to this craze oh boy oh boy were they wrong on so many aspects it hasn't even peaked yet it appears it lasted a good 24 years and is still going strong actually what mm -hmm. else we got call it pokemon pandemonium oh no okay the -based game explodes in popularity players are flooding into public space if there was one thing that i can give this kind of reporting is when they report on stuff like this because pokemon go was a menace to society there you go there i said it one boomer take that can stand behind jenny latimer discovered a memorial plaque for her son became a pokey stop where players earn rewards <laughs> oh my god wow <laughs> That's oh, messed up. I don't up. know whether to laugh or cry laughing. <laughs> In Vancouver, James Roy created a sign to stop players from trampling his garden. Three nights. How I planned Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> it's in a row. We had uh, people. Uh, Think about your life choices. Oh my God, that is so Canadian. And sort of trying to get in through the other gate of our uh, of our yard, and you know I was thought well like you know we have kale here we can't have that like stomped over and stuff that is probably the most canadian thing i have ever heard all right what's next new alert from the world health organization about video game addiction the organization is now designating gaming disorder as a mental health condition so i think it's important for us to define the word disorder because just about anything can be an addiction. For example, I like working out. If I don't work out during the day, I kind of feel shitty. I need that sort of boost of dopamine in the morning. That's part of my morning routine. If I don't go on a bike ride, I feel like I've taken a good dose of melatonin. But does that make it a disorder though? I don't I, I don't think it does. Gaming disorder. Michael Strahan, what the hell are you doing on ABC News? Talking about gaming disorder? Some saying it's about time we recognize the intense pull of video games, given the science that shows there could be some addictive nature to them. Some addictive nature to them. 
Yeah, like most things. Just a little. Could be some addictive nature to them. This morning, the <laughs> World Health Organization raising a red flag. For the first time, adding gaming disorder to their list of addictive activities, likening it to substance abuse and gambling disorders. It might be fine to give this its own classification, but just like the phrase gaming disorder, it's <laughs> It's just so fucking funny. Well, to be fair, I probably got gaming disorder. Every news report, every one that talks about like video games and the dangers it has on children, you can always boil it down to just parents should be involved in their kids' lives. Anderson yeah, put some says barriers. It's going to take parents paying attention to keep this problem from exploding. And recommend talking to your kids. As a parent, there are some things you can do to protect your kids. So you what this what? does Bottom is it, it forces parents to be parents. Hello, moms and exactly. Dads. What's your job? You know, it's not always the kid with the problem it may be the parent with the problem you know i mean you have to be involved in what your kids are are looking at it's up to parents to control what their kids are seeing it could be a growing addiction potentially stunting the development of children one doctor uses the term digital heroin it was only a matter of time before we equated gaming addiction with with hardcore drug abuse they say he won't stop can't stop playing video games online <laughs> fucking intervene in his life man Tell him, get your ass off the computer chair, go outside. That's what my parents would do. Like I said, man, it always comes back to like just parents being involved. What's yeah. a typical day in Josh's life? Mm, sleeping until 11, 12. And then he would be on until like 1, 2 in the morning. 12 hours. Easily. And then you have kids nowadays who are going to wonder, why can't I socialize? Why can't I do this and that? I know a good bulk of things also reside on people handling things in moderation that's for everything in life you have got to realize at a certain point okay something is going way overboard let me step back let me reconsider my choices but of course as long as you are living under somebody's roof and it's literally your child it's kind of part of your job to do it he's good wow well, yeah instead of enforcing any kind of rules or discipline on our child what did we do we went straight to ABC News. But why didn't right. you just take the computer away? I don't understand. Great question. Because when we did take it away, there was a lot of problems in our house with this behavior. I don't have a child, but I mean, you know, my parents took my consoles away when I when I did bed shit, and you know, there were problems for a bit, but it's like, they're my parents, what am I gonna do? You have used the term right. digital heroin. Really? Digital heroin? Is it that bad? Yes, because I'm a fucking idiot. Al and Christina are wondering if Josh's brain can give them in- This is just sad. This, this is just fucking sad. Like, oh man. We already know things that we like and do certain responses and chemical releases in our brain. Dopamine gets up, the oxytocin goes on and- Come on, man. Obviously, his brain is not going to respond to the same excitement for staring at a blank wall. Are they going to fucking put this kid in an MRI? Lose as to what is wrong. So they take him for a functional MRI. They're taking a fucking Bruh. brain scan of this 14 year old kid who plays video games too much. Just take this shit away. <laughs> His theory, yet to be proven, is that excessive gaming may change brain activity. Josh's brain scans are troubling. We've seen this type of neurological deterioration in gamers who prefer to play Call of Duty Vanguard. There should be much more activity. There should be more red. Are the words PlayStation Portable going to end up on your kid's Christmas list? PSPs are good, clean fun, right? Yeah. So why are they also known by the name PlayStation Portable? Hornable. You don't want to spoil anybody's Christmas, but there are hidden dangers parents should be aware of. You don't want to spoil anyone's Christmas, but there could be porn on your <laughs> child's video game console. Portable gaming devices are all the rage, with a generation Better of teens convincing their parents they're a must-have. And that opens up Pandora's box. One, two, three, four, three, four. What, what is happening? Porn isn't the only danger out there. What is? Hatred, violence, and the means to carry out deadly schemes can all be accessed through gaming devices with an internet connection. <laughs> Yo, kitty, do you hear that? White power. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. If your kid is being radicalized by being on his PSP, then you don't goofed. You did something horribly wrong. 
Who the f what kind of fucking teenagers go to those, dude? It means you might not take iron crosses all over a website as a warning sign that you should immediately leave. And if you don't leave, you might start reading and buying into hateful ideas there. The greatest danger of all may be a child predator posing as another gamer. Come Every on! Single one of these, man, it's it's all the same. And why do they have RuneScape footage? Could you wait? Could you actually play RuneScape on a PSP? I think that the Secret Service needs to hire Chris Hansen to make like a special division. We need that. That would have been pretty sick. Oh, this is this is a classic right here. Mass Effect sex scandal. Six box. New video oh, so that game shows was. full digital nudity and sex. A, a new role-playing video game that is leaving nothing to the imagination. Mass Effect is what it's called. Uh, it's made for Microsoft's Xbox system, and it features some in some parts of this. You'll see full uh, digital nudity. Imagine. Hell it's yeah, you optional. will. Yeah, that's why it's a masterpiece, baby. I'm pretty sure like 90% of the clips I gathered are from Fox News. And the ability. So here's a statement trying not to be political, but. Um, given that Fox News is predominantly a right wing channel, right? It's, you can argue if MSNBC or CNN aren't doing the same thing. They ponder to whatever is sensational, after all. But on the side of the right, you can't complain about video games and art just being way too frivolous or whatever, too lefty, when you don't contribute in it. The players to engage in graphic sex and the, the person who's playing the game gets to decide exactly what's going to happen between the two people, if you know what I mean. What? Press X to thrust? Is that what you think? So let's talk about who the video game is for. It might be for adults, but if you look at the statistics, who is playing video games but adolescent males, not their dads? So oh, okay, so, so this is the huge problem that always occurs. T statistics can always be used to support whatever argument that you want to support. If you phrase it in your favor. Some friends and I talked about this some years ago because it was very topical and kind of still is once in a while whenever a shooting happens and they start blaming it on video games and not gun policies and all some of these people's mental health. I remember it being like 72%, at least that being in the US, but perhaps that was also worldwide, of uh, adult, young adult between 18 and 25, a male. And uh, in the contrast of that, for females, it's 49%. So obviously, a vast majority of gamers are going to be male. But just because they have something in common with these psychos who are acting up on extreme violence and are doing crazy shit does not mean that the video games are the things that causes it. This whole correlation to causation mismatch that always happens on the news is freaking me out. That's the first thing. The damage is this. We know that all the research shows that violence has a um, desensitizing effect. Well, sexuality does too. No, it doesn't, you dumb cunt. And here's how they're seeing women. They're seeing them as these as these objects of desire, as these, you know, hot bodies. I mean, they don't, they don't show women as being valued for anything other than their sexuality. You can play as a woman too, right? For you to play as a badass female too. That never gets brought up. Never. And it's a man in this game deciding right. how many women he wants to be with. Jeff Keighley is going to ask the question that I want to ask, and it's going to be really funny. All right, let's get Jeff in on this. All right, that's com uh, go ahead, completely Jeff. incorrect. Yeah, it's completely incorrect. First of all, you can actually play as a man or a woman in the game. Cooper, have you ever played Mass Effect? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's it. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to hear. We can move on to the next segment now. But to be fair, though, you can report on something that you haven't played. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm being serious here. You can do that as long as you have your facts straight. For example, I can refuse to play Forspoken, but I can visit a channel that has been stress testing a shitty game and see that, oh, this is actually corroborating with reality and then report onto that. It doesn't need to be anecdotal all the time. Ow. You like how she's doing this this like full on report and she's so sure of what she's talking about, but she's never played the game. But yes, exactly. That's the part of it. When you're sure on something that you know nothing about, that's when it gets wrong. Have you ever played Mass Effect? 
No. <laughs> no. No. Well, I think what's what's interesting about this, we talk about you know sexuality in the media. One of the great things about Mass Effect, for people that have played it, know this. This is a, a sort of a choose-your-own-adventure story, and it doesn't force you down in any situation. You can actually play through this game without the sexual situation ever happening. Right, and the young the boys game. are going to be choosing not to have sex. That'll be what they'll choose. I mean, no, let's be realistic here. No, because it's not here. a simple it's choice. But Cooper, it's not a simple choice. You don't turn to the game and says, "Would you like to have sex or not?" I love that Jeff is like shilling for Mass Effect on this Fox <laughs> News segment, and this lady who has never played it and doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about is acting like she's all high and mighty. It's mm -hmm. just like modeling your life, and I think that's a much more powerful form of media. Darlin, I gotta go with the research, and the research says there's a new study out of University of Maryland right now that says that boys that play video games cannot tell the difference between what they're seeing in a video game and the all real right, world. Dude, I booted up Assassin's Creed 1 the other day just to see if it was as good as I remember. Kind of janky, but... No. No. We can tell, damn it. Pass the game and sex is a small little part of it. All right, thank you very much to Jeff and Cooper. Let's go around the panel really quickly and get your thoughts on this. They gave him like one minute to discuss this before moving on. Come on, Fox. We got to cut him off. Jeff is speaking the actual truth of the game. We got to cut it off and, and we got to go with our narrative. An adult only rating. That's the highest rating that it can have. So first of all, this board that rates them needs to have their head examined. And this made me feel old watching this. What happened to Atari and Pinball and Pac-Man? God, you are old. Lady. I recommend that you play Disco Elysium if you're so enamored with pinball. Be careful here. Let's face it. There's all kinds of bad stuff coming through the internet, right. through video games. And the reality is, I would argue, that the government cannot and should not censor everything coming across the web and in video games. At the end of the day, it's just like Chet said, it's up to parents to control what their kids are seeing. Fi finally, someone on Fox News talks some sense. Brianna is describing the first time she accidentally stumbled into a strip club on Roblox. And that's where we're going to call it a day. But hope you no. enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And subscribe to The Act Man for more awesome content. Oh my god, man. It's like adults who are too lazy to try to actually do the investigation required. And they're just constantly using the same fear-mongering tactics that have been used over and over again. And debunked. Boy. But that was a good laugh, though. I have to give him that. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this uh, rather long video. But please do go and subscribe to the Ackerman channel and like this very video on this channel. And of course, if you like this video, give it a like. And of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. With that said, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next one.